What's going on everybody? Storytelling Jordan here. Um, if you like I was, you're probably getting this message with your Avid Media Composer um, where it's freezing up on initializing audio plugins right here. And um, you, you get this generic message that pops up, exemption, AMPI, system error, blah, blah, blah. Um, so for me, I don't know I don't know about you guys, but for me what happened was um, I upgraded my computer operating system when I did that. Um, Avid Media Composer 7 was no longer compatible. So I went to the Apple Store and they wiped my computer clean. Then I went from High Sierra down to Yosemite, all right? When I did that, um, that's when I started getting this, this message here. And you're probably getting a similar message right here um, that says required software extensions are missing. I know that says Pro Tools, but Pro Tools is still made by Avid. And that's the only uh, picture I can find online. So that's the issue I was facing, and it was definitely frustrating. I was without my software for two weeks, and I had clients needing some stuff. So, um, yeah, it wasn't fun. Um, and then also, it probably is going to um, direct you to this um, iLock, iLock message, iLock website, all right? Um, and I had never heard of iLock before. I'm like, what is the iLock? Like, I don't remember ever dealing with this. But I went with it, and. Um, I downloaded this right here. It clearly says 10.7, line or above, and my computer is, is, is well above 10.7. So according to this, this is the one I'm supposed to have. So I would download this and it wouldn't work. I tried this several times. I tried deleting stuff. I tried reinstalling stuff, restarting, you know, everything. It wouldn't work. Um, so I contacted Avid a couple times. Nothing really seemed to work. Um, they can kind of be hit or miss. Um, and you know you guys are probably aware they they like to make you pay for customer support, like three hundred bucks or something ridiculous like that. But I found a loophole um, around that. So um, what you want to do is if you go to avid.com um, and then you click on account and you click on my account, that will redirect you. And then what you want to do is you want to click this here that says contact technical support by phone. Cause I know it's hard to find the phone number on Google. Um, if you click this and then you click uh, broadcasted video, that page will redirect you to um, a variety of phone numbers that you can call. And again, to make sure that you don't have to pay, um, what you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna select the, uh, the option for licensing, okay? And that was my loophole around it. Cause I'm like, I'm not about to pay for any technical support. I'm not having any technical support issues. I'm not asking you questions about how to use the software, you know, how to color correct, how to do this or that. You know, I downloaded the software that I own, that I have a license for, and it's not working. In my mind, you need to fix it. And and that's what they did. Now, I wasn't very adamant or aggressive about it or anything, but you know, they helped me. And I believe that they do help you when it comes to startup issues like that. Um, so basically what the guy did was he, he, he led me to a website. I downloaded some software and he was able to, to see my screen. He basically had control over my screen. Okay. So we went back to this iLock website and then what I believe he did, again, I'm not entirely sure this is what he did. This is what I believe he did. I believe he deleted this iLock that I had. This one, um, he deleted that. Okay. He clicked legacy installers and then he downloaded an older version. Um, and according to this, this is not supposed to work on my computer because it says 10.6, Snow Leopard or below, okay? 10.5, or if you're on uh, Windows, you know, it will say Vista or below. So according to this, it's not supposed to work on my computer. But he downloaded this, um, restarted my computer, and, you know, after that, my uh, my Avid was, was working. I'll pull it up for you guys. Um, if my doc will show up. Yeah, just excuse me, I'm not gonna edit this. Um, this is very low budget. But as you can see, my Avid Media Composer is working nice and smoothly um, and everything is back to normal. So I'm not sure if I'm making any sense because you know, I'm not, I'm not a very technical guy when it comes to this type of stuff. I'm more focused on storytelling when it comes to shooting and editing. Um, but if I'm making any sense at all, like I really hope it does help you guys. Again, long story short would be to download an older version of iLock as opposed to the one it tells you to have and restart your computer and it should work. So if this helped anybody at all, let me know because I definitely would have appreciated the help. 
when I was looking through this. Cause I searched all over Google and YouTube and I couldn't find anything. So um, I hope it helps. If not, I'm sorry. You know, I did my best. All right, you guys have a good one.